Welcome to your new RG Ally. But stop, wait, don't click away from this video just yet. I'm about to tell you a few things you absolutely need to know to get started. You hold in your hands one of the most powerful, versatile gaming handhelds on the planet. That means it does take a bit of setup for the best possible experience. But don't worry, we're going to walk you through the whole process in just a few minutes. So you can start gaming as fast as possible. Stick with us, it's going to be worth it. Unlike the other game consoles, the ROG Ally runs Windows, just like a gaming PC. When you need to navigate through Windows, which isn't super often, the touchscreen is the easiest way to do so. You can also use the right joystick as a mouse, with the right shoulder button acting as a left click, and the right trigger acting as a right click. The on-screen keyboard should appear automatically when you tap on the text box, but if it doesn't, you can also hold M1 or M2 buttons on the back of the Ally and press up on the D-pad to bring up the keyboard at any time. Most of the device's features live in our custom software called Armory Crate. This is your one-stop shop for launching games and tweaking settings. You can navigate with the left stick and face buttons just like any other game console. This button on the right of the RG Ally will show and hide the Armory Crate interface instantly. And here's a little bonus tip. Pressing and holding this button will show a cheat sheet with all your desktop controls. Pressing and holding down this button will bring up the Control Alt Delete menu where you can open up the Task Manager and force quit a program if you need to. But this shouldn't be a common occurrence. It's just there if you need it. Now I get it, you wanna start gaming now, and I'm with you, but hold on for just a moment. We've added a lot of features and improvements since the device first launched, so you'll definitely wanna install the latest updates before continuing. These reside in a few different places, starting with Armory Crate. Head to the Content tab, then tap Update Center, and update everything you see here. This will give you all the latest Armory Crate features. Next, you also want to launch My Asus, which is this blue icon in the taskbar, and download any essential updates you see here. It's important to update from both of these apps as My Asus contains updates to the graphics driver, which is the under the hood software that manages the graphics chip. These driver updates provide support to the latest games as well as occasionally some performance boosts. So you don't want to start gaming until you have the latest version. Note that your ally may restart during some of these updates as well. And that's okay, just let it go through the process. Finally, head to the Microsoft Store for any updates you see there. A few of those apps in the Microsoft Store, particularly the pre-installed AMD software and Xbox app, are important for some of the Ally's functionality. All right, still with me? It's time for your reward. Let's get some games on this thing. This is one area where the Ally really shines. Most consoles only have one store where you can buy digital games, but the Ally doesn't chain you to one library. Windows-based platforms actually have a few different game stores, which means you can deal hunt for better prices, get exclusive games and content, and even grab some games for free from time to time. Best of all, you don't have to worry about your favorite game being incompatible just because it lives in a different store. The Ally has two of the most important stores already pre-installed, Steam and Xbox. Steam is the most popular game store on the platform, and you can open it from the start menu just like you would any program on a PC. Once you're in, you can explore, read reviews, and purchase games with just a few taps. But before you buy, I recommend you also check out the Xbox app. Not only can you buy games here too, sometimes at different prices, but Xbox has a big ace up its sleeve, Game Pass. For one low monthly price, this service lets you pick from a library of hundreds of games and play them at any time. That's just an insane deal and a great way to try games that you wouldn't otherwise throw money at yet. You might just find your next favorite game. Even better, the Ally comes with three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for free. You should be able to claim it from this notification drop down here. That means you don't have to spend a dime to get started playing right away. Of course, if a game you want to play lives in a different store, for example, Fortnite and Rocket League are on Epic Games, you can open a web browser, download the game launcher, and install it just like you would any other Windows program. So you can then browse the new platform and grab the games that you want. It'll take some time to download and install your game, depending on the speed of your internet connection. But once it's finished, you'll see it pop up in the Armory Crate game library. If you don't see it appear, just drag downward on the screen and refresh the list. Then simply highlight the game with your joystick and press A to start playing. If you have any games that don't automatically appear on this list, like some standalone indie games that don't use an installer, you can add them to your Armory Crate manually with this add button. Find them in the list that appears or press one of the shoulder buttons to navigate to the application's EXE file manually. 
Now, a lot of games will perform great on the Ally right out of the box. But if you find a specific game that's a bit choppy or stuttery, you may need to tweak its settings for optimal performance. Turning your graphics preset down to medium or lower might be a good idea to get better performance, especially on a compact screen like the Allies, where the difference between the medium and high might not be as noticeable. If your game supports Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR for short, this is a great way to boost performance as well. I recommend setting it to quality or balance if you want the game to feel a bit smoother. These general recommendations should get you good performance in most games, but if you really want to make the most of your game's graphics, you can find the optimized settings for many of the most popular games on the ROG website. You can also tweak your ally's settings from the command center, a slide out menu that appears when you press this button. The operating mode feature, for example, balances performance and battery life. The turbo mode is ideal for AAA games with high-end graphics where you want to push power to the max while silent mode lowers power consumption for better battery life and works great for indie and retro games. The settings here can be handy too, like the control mode option. Most of the time, auto is fine, but your game will detect the built-in controller. Feel free to experiment with these settings and find what works best for you. By the way, don't worry if your ally gets warm or if you hear the fans ramp up while you play. Just like a sports car engine, devices like this naturally produce heat but the cooling system will keep the processor well within its operating specs. There's no danger to the CPU. Those are the most essential setup tips, but there's a lot more you can do in Army Crate to improve your experience. In the settings, you can remap buttons, customize the lighting, and add new options to the command center. You can even highlight a game and press X to customize its individual profile, giving it custom key map or telling it to automatically start in turbo mode. But these are more intermediate tips, and right now, we just want to get you playing games as quickly as possible. Once you're acquainted with your ally, check out our YouTube playlist for ally tips and tricks for even more. You'll find this video there along with some others we've put together. You'd be shocked at how much control you have over this thing. Welcome to the Republic of Gamers. We'll see you on the battlefield.